what's up you guys? It is Maddie here and today I'm going to be telling you all about how I made $500 selling my old clothes on Poshmark. Alrighty you guys, I'm going to be giving you my best tips and tricks for selling on Poshmark. And if you don't know what Poshmark is already, it is a app where you can buy and sell old clothes. Usually they are in very good condition and it is quite awesome. If you're not familiar with the app, I would go and watch a video explaining how it works or just kind of figure it out on your own. Unfortunately, this is not a video teaching you how to use the app, but a video teaching you how to get the most out of the selling part of it. If you're looking to make extra money, this is an awesome way. Step number one is to make sure you have good products. Obviously, everything on Poshmark is used clothes. So just make sure there are no big holes or stains or anything that's very unattractive. You want most of the clothes you're selling to be in a like new condition. That way they will sell better and people will feel better about using and wearing them. Number two, take good pictures. I know this can be really hard, especially when you are just starting out, but I have a couple tips on how to take good pictures. If you are just taking pictures with your smartphone, which is just fine to do, make sure you're doing it in a kind of a pretty space. If you have like a white sheet, lay that down on the floor, put your clothes on it, and make sure you have really good lighting. The best lighting you could probably get if you're not like a professional photographer is from your window because it's natural lighting and it is very easy to get as long as you are doing it during the day. Another way you could do it is, I've actually done this way, is I hang my clothes up on a wall and then I put some of my cute little twinkly lights around it and because it's against a white wall you can see all the details of all the shirts and it has good lighting because it's by a window. It just worked out really well. Third way you can take pictures and there's, I mean there's tons more ways. I feel like this way sells the most clothes is if you actually model how the clothes look. No matter what option you choose to take pictures just make sure they are good quality. You can see every in and out of it and it's just it, it looks pretty because that's what people want to buy. All right, my third tip is to make sure you give a really good description and a fair price. I know from personal experience how hard it can be to give a fair price on something because a lot of times I get sentimental about my clothes. <laughs> Try to remember what you bought it for. Say if you bought it for 50, if it still has the tags on it that says $50, maybe put it for 45 and then you can have people offer it for 40 or 35. But if it is slightly used or a lot used, but it's in great condition and you still wanna sell it, make sure you give it a fair price depending on what it is. And make sure to give a very good accurate description because if you leave anything out, even if there's a little hole in the armpit, if you leave that out and the buyer receives it and they see it, they can send it back and get their money back. Number four is very, very important. After you've listed all of your clothes you are selling, be attentive to your buyers and answer questions. Sometimes it can get repetitive and sometimes it can get annoying, but you have to answer your questions for your buyers, especially if you're looking to sell a lot of your products. My fifth tip is very, very important and I think a lot of people don't do this and that's why they don't get a lot of attention to their closets. Attending the Poshmark parties is so important. So many people are attending these parties, so this is the ideal time to share your closet. Sharing your items to these parties is so important because reaching out to a whole new audience than your current followers and following lists. My sixth piece of advice here is to be willing to go down on your price, take offers, and make good deals on bundles. Something I've learned is that if I take lower offers on a lot of things, it's going to build up a lot of money. Just this last weekend, I've sold eight or nine items and I've made $50. And they were kind of lower priced, but since I've sold so many, I made 50 bucks. Bam. Look at you, you go, you've sold your first item. Now step number seven is to make your packaging really, really cute. Show the buyer that you care and that you're happy that they bought from you. Now it doesn't have to be anything super expensive, it doesn't have to be anything super crazy, just maybe some cute wrapping paper and a ribbon and a note that says thank you so much for buying from my closet. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave me a review. Now these reviews are very important to your closet because if you are getting four and five stars, then your overall closet rating is gonna be like a 4.5 and that means you're gonna be in the top percent of sellers, which is really, really awesome. The more five stars you get on your products, the more buyers you're gonna get and it's a great cycle. And that's it you guys, those are my top tips 
I'm selling on Poshmark. That is how I made over $500. If you guys have any questions about Poshmark or any other selling app like this or just questions in general about it, don't be afraid to leave them down in the comments. I will answer them all because I'm here to help. If you're wondering what my name was on Poshmark, I actually stopped using it a couple days ago because I kind of got sick of shipping stuff out all the time because I'm lazy. But it is an awesome thing if you're looking for extra money, especially if you're like a teenager just in high school or something, or if you are an adult looking to make extra money. It's really awesome. And if Poshmark's not for you, I know there are tons of other apps out there. Check them out. I don't know any of them. I always just used Poshmark. So there's that. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this every single Saturday. And like the video if you liked it, if you found it informative, and if you have made any money on these kind of selling apps. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!